Hi everyone, it's Naomi Kanaga from Encouragement from the Word of God. It talks about in Revelation chapter 19 verse 7 about Jesus coming again and he would be the groom and you and I will be the bride. It says in Revelation chapter 19 verse 7, let us rejoice and exalt and give him the glory. For the marriage of the Lamb has come and the bride has made herself ready. You and I, we are his bride. Are you ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ? The world might not look as if it's a second coming or it, does, it might not look as Jesus is coming. But truly, it is. It is ready. Are you and I, we are ready. Are we ready? And are we waiting, anticipating for the coming of second coming of Jesus Christ? And not only us being ready, are we telling others about Jesus and sharing the gospel of with others that they would all be ready with us? And uh, we had yesterday an opportunity uh, in our community to for go to a Christmas market and have a booth in the Christmas market and there was beautiful crafts created by many artists and our art our um, booth was filled with paintings that we have done um, scripture paintings and uh, beautiful nature paintings and uh, christmas cards and also um, uh, many things that people were able to buy and we we had a great sale yesterday we thank god and we made a great um, uh, profit of it and uh, we were so happy with Daniel and I and my daughter was excited as well to be in a Christmas market together and sell stuff and um, we um, our booth was the only booth that showed about Jesus I was so excited that that every painting that we had hang up behind us uh, it speaks about Jesus speaks about Jesus's love and speaks about Jesus and uh, I was so happy that when you when people enter the Christmas market they can see this booth is different and these people believe in Christ we were able to sell one of Daniel's painting books with encouragement scriptures as well so it was a great opportunity and uh, so remember that Jesus is coming very soon you and I have to be ready and also be prepared to tell others about your story about share about jesus's love because we don't want to go by ourselves we want to take many as people as we can to heaven with us we don't want anyone to perish we don't want anyone to be left behind so take every opportunity take every moment to speak about jesus invite them to church invite them to a bible study invite them to read the word of god invite them to hear the word of god encourage one another you and i we are the only salt only the bible only bible they might ever read so let us encourage one another let us remember that we would be meeting as the bride of christ and jesus would be the groom and that will be an exciting day have do you remember your wedding day or do you remember attending a wedding and seeing the bride and groom unite together and that will be a wonderful experience in heaven you and i will be the bride uh, clothed in white and groom will be jesus christ who died for us who loves us so very much he gave himself for us for, for us and died on the cross sacrifice and god will be glorified god will be honored with this ceremony uh, in heaven so you and I are people of hope. Even though yesterday there was this funeral of Daphne, I love her so very much. And uh, she had her funeral, her funeral was held by her family for her. And I heard that was a beautiful family. Uh, TLC took a great part in the funeral as well. And it was a beautiful ceremony. We know that we would meet our sister Daphne in heaven one day. We would meet our loved ones that we have lost that we feel a heart of sadness towards it. I would meet my father in heaven and I would recognize that he's my father and we would all worship Jesus together. What a wonderful day that would be. I am so excited. I, I know that this world is terrible. This world is getting worse and worse. Yesterday I was doing some crafts with the kids and the news was on. And I heard about still how Russia is attacking Ukraine and the power plants and they are in blackout period and many things are happening in the world that is out of place. But Jesus is coming very soon, my brother and sister. Let us be ready for him. Let us have hearts which are yearning for him, hearts which are ready for him. 
for his coming again because he would be glorified and he's coming for you and me very soon very soon so let's pray today father we come to you father we thank you that you love us jesus with all your heart that you died on the cross for me and my brother and sister thank you lord because of the redemption because of the sacrifice you had that you and i we are united with christ so lord i thank you that you would come very soon even though our eyes even though the world we cannot see that uh, you are coming but you will be coming because what you promise you always keep so lord let us be anticipating waiting for your coming be lifting our hands to you and hearing your voice that when you call our names we will be ready we will be lifted up to heaven and live with you forever and ever God, I pray for people around us, Lord. Let us be the light. Let us be the sword. Let us be instrumental in telling others about you, sharing the love of Christ with others so that they would also come with us to heaven and glorify you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. I um, Yesterday, we were doing um, uh, our garden. Um, like after I came from the Christmas market, I still had some energy. Hi, that's my daughter. Uh, I still had some energy, so I was putting some uh, Christmas stuff on my um, garden, uh, on the front porch, on the pots. And I have uh, neighbors passing by, and one lady said that, I always admire oh, your garden. I really upstairs. enjoy uh, what Jesus I'm doing um, of the garden. She really yeah. enjoys. And we have many pots as well uh, with scripture verses. Um, so we know that we are making an impact in our neighborhood, um, in our community. Uh, Hosanna, one minute, okay? And uh, so be that light. Shine for Christ wherever you go. Be that light and salt. Let's sing this beautiful song from Carrie Job saying forever. Jesus is forever glorified and lifted up. Let's sing this. Mom, can you turn it upstairs? Okay, baby. Moon and stars, they wept. The morning sun was dead. The Savior of the world was fallen. His body on the cross, His blood poured out for us, the weight of every cause upon Him. One final breath he gave As heaven looked away The Son of God was laid in darkness A battle in the grave The war on death was waged The power of hell forever broken The ground began to shake the stone was rolled away, his perfect love could not be overcome. Now death, where is your stay? Our resurrected King has rendered you Remember, he is going to be forever lifted high, forever he is glorified because Jesus Christ is our Lord, our risen King. Death could not hold him. No, nothing could hold him back. He is a resurrected Savior, creator of the universe. And he is in love with you and me and he loves you so very much. He is coming very soon, my brother and sister. Let us be ready. Let us be working hard 
and so that he would tell us you my good faithful my faithful steward you have done well you have done well so let us be ready give him the glory to him let us be ready because jesus our groom is coming for the bride that is you and me very very soon soon and very soon we will be in heaven i hope this blessed you and encouraged you today whatever you do this season i know this would be a beautiful season yesterday was a christmas market i can't believe in november having a christmas market and it's a great opportunity for christians for jesus to shine let them know that we celebrate Jesus' birthday and he's coming again. He is coming very soon. Take every opportunity to speak about Jesus to your neighbors, to people around you, your co-workers, your friends and your loved ones and be that shining light. Gather together, mingle together, talk about Christ to everyone. We, uh, we will be going um, in December for the week of Christmas. We would be going to my sister-in-law's place in the Virginia, God willing. And uh, I hope, I'm hoping that we would be able to share some beautiful memories together and speak about Jesus and his goodness to people around us. So take every opportunity, my brother and sister everything you do may you talk about jesus share the love of jesus with everyone you meet because this is a lost world and jesus is coming for you and me what an amazing day that will be listen to his voice hear him calling your name do not be busy i know i i am a busy busy bird i always get involved in so many things but let not this busyness for, make make us forget about Jesus but in our busyness let us be busy for Christ today have a wonderful day everyone God bless you share this video with your friends and your loved ones encourage one another because he is faithful he is coming for you and me because he loves you and me so very much have a wonderful day God bless you bye